So you've been running your Shopify store for a while now and you've been installing Shopify apps here and there and as time goes by, you decided to clean up your store and remove the apps that you don't really need anymore because you know that these apps can slow down your Shopify store and you don't want that. But when you deleted the app, you noticed that it didn't really improve your store performance or speed. So why is that? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at how to improve your Shopify store speed and performance. Stay tuned for that. This video is sponsored by Hostinger. If you're looking for a domain that you can use for your Shopify store, Hostinger is one of the cheapest domain provider that you can try and connecting your Hostinger domain to Shopify is as easy as getting past the no-nut-no. -no. Check the link in the description below to get started. So there are a few reasons why your Shopify store speed is still the same. Number one reason is the app don't really slow down your store in the first place or it doesn't really make any changes to your front end. The second reason is that the apps that you deleted left a bunch of snippet codes that weren't removed by the app. In other words, the app gave you a bunch of trash that you need to clean up yourself. What a bunch of ass, right? So I'll be showing you some tips and tricks how you can clean up your Shopify store and ensure that you can remove the junk created by the apps you deleted. But before all of that, make sure that you actually know your way around of your Shopify store, especially with the theme files and also always make a backup of your theme especially when you start making a Shopify store. A lot of beginners make this mistake where they just create a Shopify store and they don't make a backup of their theme. And when they check their assets file, they have no idea which one originally came with a the theme and which one is the file that were added by the apps. So always make a backup of your theme. So you can also retrieve a file, especially if you accidentally deleted a file. All right, so let's go through the steps of how to remove the unused codes or files from your Shopify store. So first, let's go to our themes. So it must be in our online store and themes. And then we'll select actions and edit code. This will open the following page where we can access all of the files in our theme. So let's open the themes.liquid. So the first thing that we need to do is to scan through our theme.liquid file. So what I do usually is to use search and then type in here open angle bracket, percentage sign, and then space and type the word include. And that will give us the following line. So we have here include judge me core and there must be another one. All right, so we have here include sumo. So we have two files being referenced in our theme.liquid. Now, the next step is to check if this file is actually being used by Shopify app or not. So let's open our apps page. And then remember that this is called Judge Me Core. And if we open our apps page, let's look for Judge Me. And as you can see here, there is a Judge Me product reviews app. So there's a possibility that this file, this file being referenced in our theme, that liquid file, is being used by Judge Me product reviews. So we don't want to remove that. And then the other one is Sumo. So let's check if there is Sumo in here. And there is no Sumo. And that means there's a possibility that this line is actually unused. Though I highly recommend double checking because there are cases that the file is being used by a different app, but developed by the same company. And then the file being referenced is the name of the company. So if you want to delete this code, you can do it and then just try if it caused an error or if not, then that means it's deletable or you can delete it. So let's just remove this. And if I save this, I'll open my store. And if I refresh this, and I'll try to open the inspect window and then console and see if I get any errors. So as you can see, I have an error in here, but I'm not sure if it's related to Sumo or not. So let's try to undo our changes. So I'll put the include Sumo back. I'll save it once again. And let me refresh my store once again and see if this error, if this error still remains. So let me refresh that. And then as you can see, the error is still there. Then that means Sumo is not the reason why there's an error. So let's just remove this. We don't need that anymore. And I'll save this. And let's check that error. So as you can see, it says uncut re reference error jQuery is not defined. And as you can see in here, it is cost. It is from the cross.js. So we can hover that. And as you can see, there's a URL that says cdneggflow.com. So that means this file is coming from Eggflow. So let's actually check if we have an app 
that was created by eggflow.com. So let me open my apps page and I have in here a bunch of apps. So let me just check about. Or if you want, you can open your um, browser and um, type in here Shopify um, app Eggflow. Eggflow. As you can see, I have in here apps by Eggflow. So let me just open that. And these are the apps that were created by Eggflow. So I think I have instant traffic and ads. So let me open my app and there you go. Yeah, I have instant traffic. So maybe there's something going on in this app that we can try to fix. If not, then you can contact their um, their developer or you can contact um, support and tell them that there's an error related to jQuery. Actually, with Sumo, we can delete this now. We don't need this anymore. So we can just delete the file and delete that. And that is how you remove the unused files from your Shopify store. Now, there are other factors that can affect your Shopify store speed and performance. One of them is the images in your store. That's why I highly recommend using website tools like GT Metrics or Google Speed Insights. These tools can help you determine what are the things that can slow down your Shopify store or what are the things that slow down your Shopify store. For image-related issues, for example, your images are very heavy, then I highly recommend TinyJ jpg.com it is one that i used and it's really effective for making your images lighter and this can really speed up your website and so that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and let's have a conversation down there thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye